Thank you all for being here today. So uh, the title of uh, the speaker talk today is how to think and work outside the box. So I, I try myself to be outside the box. Please, the floor is yours and I will maybe remove my box. สวัสดีค่ะ How are you guys this morning? ค่ะ Thank you so much for coming here today this early. Um, ไม่หอนเดี๋ยวนะคะต้องเดินไปทางนี้มาค่ะ Okay. So um, I woke up at 6:32. Is there anyone who woke up earlier than 6:30? Wow! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and I would like to to know who came from my Facebook fan page. Uh, you? Okay. Kun Wang Song told me that I shouldn't tell that I will be speaking in English because otherwise they won't come. So speaking, uh, t uh, hearing in English. Can make you be a creative person, like trying something new. So thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Ploy Se. I'm a creative director and founder of Se Design Studio Bangkok. I'm also a writer and um, public speaker. But this is the first time I speak in English. So if there is anything, <laughs> yes, I want to try something new too. This is me when I was little. Um, I grew up. In Chadujak Weekend Market, because uh, my mom raised me alone with my two elder sister, we we don't live like uh, normal kids because we have to work all the time. This this is why the theme work suits me very well because I don't know um, uh, every every weekend people always ask me to go to do shopping or ice skating, but I don't have money. I cannot go to join them, and they made fun of me because I cannot join them. So this is my sister, and we we always go to work at the like weekend market. So every every night when I when we come back home, uh, I have to help my mom pack the stuff for like for the orders, and so on. Okay, this is our shop. So when I was little, my play playground was around the market. I always did. I don't. I didn't watch television at all, zero, because uh, my mom won't let me do so. And I, I uh, enjoy selling things in in the shop. So uh, I didn't have many friends because I'm a weird person. So <laughs> yeah, but I so I don't want to go to school. I don't want to stay in the class as well because I don't understand why we have to study. I don't like math. I don't like uh, physics. I I hate everything. And I speak English because I went to the shop and I I meet lots of foreigners in Chadujak Weekend Market. So I made some friends, and we we sent like uh, letters, like pen friend. It was very popular at that time, but now you have Facebook, you don't need it anymore. Well, it's sad. Yeah, but I um, I don't I want to make my mom proud. So I try myself to get into the best one of the best university in in Bangkok, in Thailand, which is Chulalongkorn University. I study in communication design, and. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. And I, when I was in the first year, I I, I was um, that at at the time I'm going to the second year. An old customer of us saw me since I was little in Jadujak Weekend Market, and she said, "Yeah, you can sell. So uh, would you like to join me at Avignon uh, Festival Film Film Festival d'Avignon in uh, south of France to sell stuff for one month?" and the, that at that time I'm going to uh, the the semester is going to be launched in next week, so I had to de decided very quickly that okay I'm going to go to France without knowing any languages, nothing at all. I didn't have money, but they offer me money with experience abroad. So yeah, once in my life I would like to go. So I dropped all my classes and I I went to to France. 
I supposed to stay there only for one month, but after I went there, everything is so excited. I mean, they think and live unlike Thai people. Everything they do is so new for me. Is uh, I went to the south of France and I saw people like selling what they love, doing what they love, and they didn't sell them. Uh, they didn't sell at all, but they they are happy. It's so rare because in Thailand you talk about money and you ask for like what we can sell to make money, but they didn't know what they love at all. So I, I wanted to stay there and I made it for five years to get into the public university in France. And I came back to Thailand full of creativity. Uh, I, I got a job as an art director in BBDO Bangkok. I want to use all my creativity. I have so much passion. I, I want to do so many things, but I spent my first year working on chips and car loans in an agency. Yeah, I have to think outside the box all the time, think creatively how to sell the chips different than the other chips. And I have to think about, yeah, how to make people come and loan the money for the car. And for one year, I spent my time like that and I felt like, oh, this is not right at all. It's not, it's not my thing. I uh, work, is there anybody work in an advertising field here? No? Oh, <laughs> we work so hard, like I, um, I, I went to work from 7 a.m. because my house is very far from the city until like 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm still there and it's so tired. We have to think a lot, we have to think creatively and we have to sell the ideas, tons of tons of ideas. And after, after one year, I had only two commercials online, which is only one, um, one minute and 30 seconds. So after that, I questioned myself. I threw away lots of ideas that we have never even done it. And this is not me at all. Me, I'm the type that think and work directly to see if it's work or not. So at, the, the, at BBDO, I painted the wall because I, want, I, didn't, I don't want to lose myself. I want to do lots of things, but I could not sell my ideas, so they didn't let me do it. So uh, this is the way I express uh, my feelings. This is a, at BBDO. After that, I quit BBDO and I try again uh, in McCann World Group. Still, I need to express my artist because otherwise I will forget who I really am. I want to do something fun, but my work didn't allow me to do so because if you cannot sell your ideas, it, you won't be able to do something fun in real life. So I quit again and I came back to my room. I didn't have money at all. I just quit because I didn't... I'm not happy at all at that time. I was like, I completely lose myself. In this room, I asked myself, what do I really like? What does it mean to me uh, to, to work now? So I look back at the time I was in Paris, and I, I look for the pictures that I enjoy the most. The, the moment that I'm where I feel creative and I feel happy is the time that I can think of something creatively and do it right away to see if it's work. So, um, sorry. This, uh, I always do lots of activities to make people come together and then we do something fun together. It's a part of my happiness. So I think this is perhaps my key for what I will do in the future. I organize, um, I was th I'm Thai and I'm the only Thai student who is in the public school in France, in Paris. But I happen to be the president of the, the university because I create lots of things for them. I create because I want to do it, but I didn't, I didn't look for money. I just want to do something fun. And what I had is the smile from the people they are around me. They are happy. This is a clip, video clip that we made. At the time, LipDub was very famous. I don't know if you guys know LipDub. Yeah, at that time. So, I saw it on the internet and I told my friend that, oh, we should do it, it's going to be fun. And this is how we started to do. It didn't, it, it didn't, it, it, it's not a big thing, but it's just that every time we come back to watch it, it brings us smile and happiness. Yeah, you can see here. Oh, no, no sound, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, 
you will see lots of my, my friends. Here's in my university. I was the one filming. I didn't. I don't know what will happen to. Yes, this is, this is nothing at all, but it makes people happy. And I think this is the way I want to make my creativity, to do something like this. And so I went back home. Uh, do you remember inside my room? And I start to find myself again. So I start to draw and draw because I want an art, art therapy because I completely lost myself. I was unhappy. And I, I draw again. And I draw for like a year. I keep drawing, and I, I was alone in my room. I didn't contact anybody anymore, and I was unhappy too at that time. I don't understand why I did what I love, but it's still, it's still like something is missing here. So I asked myself, um, is there anything else I want to do? Is there anything I want to learn? So I got to go out of my comfort zone. I can draw very well, but it's not everything. So I, I think the things that make me excited is going outside the box. So I start, uh, at that day, I, um, I read uh, Cosmo magazine. And at the end, they have the workshop, like uh, um, it was Cold Stone workshop. And so you can learn how to do the ice cream. I said, yeah. Ice cream, it sounds good. I'm going to make an ice cream. So I went there, and I made some new friends. And I didn't know why did I went there, but I just want to do it. And I keep continue doing like this. So I went to startup communities. I also went to Al Fashion Week, and I went back to advertising uh, workshop too. But this is the one that ch changed my life. I didn't know that it's going to change my life. I, I, learned, I went to learn how to write a bestseller book with Kun, uh, Kun Boy, Visu Sang Olun Lert. He is a bestseller author. And I was the first. Um, he had 15 classes so far. Uh, every class has 100 students. And I was in the, his first class. And he said, one, one among you can publish the book with a famous publisher. So I said, yes, this is a the opportunity, I'm going to get it. I don't know how, I don't know anything, but I just do it. I work completely outside my box because I don't know how to write a book. I just do it. So I came back home and I, I wrote what I want to communicate with other people. And I start my, my Facebook page. At that time, uh, one year ago, it was like 80 likes or only three likes for one comment. But I keep doing it every day, and this is the way I learn. It's just to work outside my box. I have an idea and I do it right away. So now today is, uh, I have two books already. This one is uh, last, uh, published last year and this one just launched last month. And this, I didn't know that it gonna draw me lots of public attention. It gave me lots of opportunity because I just went out my comfort zone. I just work outside the box. And I don't know, I don't know that it's gonna bring me the opportunity to be able to talk with a lot of people around Thailand. So this is the first time in English, but in Thai I'm better than this, but I will try. Uh, and everything I, I did, I didn't expect anything to come back, but it happened to turn back to my business too. Um, I, I don't know only designers, but I know lots of people outside my, my, my box. 
it because that I try to find who I really am. Uh, so I would like to uh, tell you that if you fear of something, the the thing that can make you feel uh, brave is that you have to work your fear. I mean, you have to to do it. I don't like to speak in English in front of the public, but here I am because I want to be better. I don't know how to write things, and of course, uh, as an art director, we communicate visually. But after I have learned how to write creatively, it helps my business a lot. Uh, and you have to give away your value because otherwise you will you will be alone. I mean, if you don't give away your value, how can you make people happy? I mean, when people are happy, it means that your clients are happy, your friends are happy, everybody's happy, it's, it's, it's going to come back to you inside your box. The idea is like this. I don't know what it's called in English, this one, but, but <laughs> it's the idea that I always tell people that you have to stand strong and know who you are. Like, I'm good at creativity and design, but after that, I ex uh, expand my zone outside my box. And now, I, if you want to talk about startup, yeah, I know. If you want to talk about food, I know too. I can go anywhere. It's just because I stopped staying only inside my box and connect everything all together. At first, when I, uh, when I work in advertising or after I graduate, I want, I want to have an award. Lots of awards on my wall. It will be my happiness. I always think like that. But now I discover out that I don't need this at all because I live with it. These are my awards. I, I go to inspire people. I can live with happy people around me. I got an amazing team who are very supportive. And I can choose who I want to work with. This is truly my, my life goal. This is truly my life award. And I would like to um, talk about one person. Uh, my writing and my books can change people's lives. This is uh, what makes me happy. And there is one guy who is my uh, number one fan. He always follow me everywhere. And he reads all of my magazine. And he also here, even though, even though he doesn't speak English. So, Kun Joka, at first he was a bad boy. He didn't know what to do. You know. <laughs> He said that he likes, he loves traveling, so he was with his bike all around Thailand, and he drinks a lot of alcohol, yes. But after he discovered my page in my book, he turned into um, event director at trail, uh, train market, Rachada. Uh, so I would like to use this occasion to thank you. And I also have some small gift. He, he went here. Uh, uh, he was the first who came here this morning, too. Thank you, Jo. Thank you. So everybody, you have time. You have to work perhaps from nine to five, but everyone has the same. It's 24 hours a day. You have to think. You have to ask yourself, how do you, you do you manage your time? Because it's not five to, to uh, sorry, it's not nine to five. It's 24 hours a day. So the box, the concept of the box is here, and outside the box is. Yeah, the green grass. I think the box is your job. What, 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 what uh, gives you the money to, to live? Yeah, but um, what you really want to do is just outside. Is um, anything you want to do outside there? There won't be anyone who come and pay you first. You have to do it before. So um, yeah, the thing and work. Why do we all have to think and work outside the box? It's because it will make you feel alive. It will make you excited again. It's, it's to keep you young and wild and free. Do you know Samuel uh, Pengpoint Langley? He was the first one who built the airplane. He built it because people gave him lots of money. And there was lots of public attention who took him pictures. But the first time he tried, the plane crashed. So he stopped because the money came less than before. It didn't make him famous, so he stopped. But the right, man, right brothers, they just did it because they just want to do it. They didn't know if it's going to work, but they will try. And now we all know uh, right brothers, but not someone. Pinpoint Langley is a very hard name. OK, so when you go back to work, I, am, I hope that you guys will work and think how to make an impact, not only to you, but to the others. 
and bring all the ideas that you throw away in the garbage and every time uh, the ideas that you always have in mind just bring it out and create something amazing so that you can touch it and you can see it every day uh, and life is short so do stuff that matters thank you very much thank you so much thank you so very much So once again, thank you all for being here today. I would like to give a, a special thanks to our sax player who came today, Philip. Philip, who <laughs> started the day, so, you know, thank you so much.